And tonight, support groups are opening their arms to military families who are overwhelmed by the tragic news. As ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner shows us, the group has been paying close attention because a thousand Camp Pendleton Marines are on the ground in Kabul. Military families bracing themselves as chaos unfolds outside the airport in Kabul, where multiple U.S. service members were killed in Thursday's attacks. It's pretty frightening. Tracy Delavecchia runs MarineParents.com, a support group for families. It's heart-wrenching, and it's, it's hard for the families to have to stand by and wait. Um, but, but that's all you can do at this point in time, is stand by and wait. It was reported last week that local troops are on the ground in Kabul to provide rapid aid over the collapse of the Afghan government. About 1,000 Camp Pendleton-based Marines from the 2nd Battalion 1st Marines were already deployed to the Middle East as part of a crisis response task force, according to the Union Tribune, which cited a Defense Department official who is reportedly not authorized to speak publicly. And I served in Iraq, I served in Yemen, uh, I served in Somalia, uh, so I, I, I fought in the, in the war on terror, but in, in, in other places. Thursday, San Diego County Supervisor and Marine Combat Veteran Nathan Fletcher spoke to ABC 10 News about watching the fallout in Kabul. It's, it's heartbreaking for what the Afghans are going through, it's heartbreaking for what our allies are going through, and it's, uh, you know, causing a lot of... Uh, anxiety and soul searching amongst everyone who, who served in these recent conflicts. Della Vecchia said her team is prepared to offer services to any local families who are in need. We can't put you in touch with people or just listen. And sometimes it's one of the most important pieces. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. And we have her contact information on our website, 10news.com, under this story on the home page. ABC 10 News reached out to the Marines for comment. We're waiting to hear back.